All right, on the left side of your screen, we have Painter. That would be Adam. Whoops. And on the right, we have Doomsday. That would be Audrey. Ready to go, Aaron Mesa, pass. Why did Mesa is not a painter? Oh, it's like white painter. Okay, Audrey already trying to figure out what Adam is up to. Adam, a known painter mage. Polluted Delta gets cracked here. It was, it was, it was the match before I played my winner. Oh, sometimes I was actually playing white painter and it wasn't a yeah, that, that is uh, Adam's Underground Sea getting played here. We, we, we borrow cards from each other, folks. It's, it's, all, uh, it's all working, I would say. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not a real deck by your standards. That's not what I eat. If you keep an eye on our Discord, you might see what decks might appear on stream coming up. Who knows? Dark Ritual. I need to talk to him more. He's already gone. Uh, 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 yep. <laughs> And there is Doomsday. To make sure. Oh, yeah. I work here. I got got by Max Dorsey. Turn one and start playing, but didn't draw a second one. I took the Max Nice. And I said Jews. I would never play. And he actually messaged me. Okay, I guess there's some hesitation in letting this resolve here. Adam thinking about responding. It looks like Adam's holding two copies of Pyroblast, which are useful right now. And an enlightened tutor. Kind of interesting. All right. Sure. I'll go to nine. Okay. So doomsday resolves. We're gonna build a pile. And uh, it's unclear at this point if Audrey knows what he's up against. If I was playing against Adam here, I I know Adam plays a little bit of. Uh, Frexian Dreadnought stuff, I'd be worried about some interaction from that kind of pool of cards, let's say. So we'll see how Audrey builds this pile. The um Okay, Audrey's in the chat saying, I considered briefly Stifle Knot with Flage. Yeah, I, I would not put it past I, Adam to be playing such a deck. But I was going to say, uh, Doomsday, for anybody new around here, Doomsday tends to build a pile of cyclers, um, cantrips, fetches, stuff like that, to quickly just cycle through the deck and then resolve a Thassa's Oracle. Sometimes Cavern of Souls is used. Okay, it looks like the, the pile has compl uh, finished being built. We're getting sort of a look at it here. The angle's a little weird, but that's okay. Thank you, Audrey, for trying. Cavern was in the mix. I couldn't really see what else was there. Maybe a street wraith, the hand. Okay, we got a brief look at the hand. Adam gets to look through the now exiled pile to see what's left in the deck. There's psychic frogs in there. Tamio. Okay, <laughs> Audrey in the chat saying, I made a pile to consider Thassa's Oracle into the yard and then unearth it. Okay. Interesting. That's like so. This is this is what you have here, and you have this one. This is your that's my library. That's my library. Yep. Okay. So the the pile has been created. We're gonna pass to Adam here, basically. But it lo looks like Adam is thinking about end step plays. Cracking a fetch, going to nineteen. Because there's a saga. Yeah, 
Scott just gifted five subs. Our all-time gifter leader, Scott, continues to extend the lead. 256 gifted subs on the channel. Thank you, Scott. Really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. And we reached our sub goal as well. Can't stop, won't stop, says Scott. Scott, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. After I no. say the car right. I'm, well, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Sorry. What would we do without Scott, chat? What would we do? We wouldn't even be here. Okay, there's an enlightened tutor happening now. Yeah, 2CMC, it's blue and a white. I've got it. So, Twitch has started a new sub goal for us. Alerts coming in at various volumes. Ethersworn Canonist, okay. That will go to the top of the library. It is... Hmm, I don't know how relevant it's going to be, though. But if you're Adam and there's nothing else in the deck that has any possibility of interacting with Doomsday's pile, then this makes some sense. Drawing the other storm canonists. Basic mountain. Um, that's good. Cool. D2 Ako, thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. Get your name up in the top left of the screen. I dig it. I got. I did them all. Dirty. I got. I had a set of them. Dude, that's pretty sick. I'm, I'm really. What happened to those weaknesses? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I gotta get. I gotta give you. Yeah, give, 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 give me tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay. Alright, five. Go. Yeah. Drop. I'll make blue on there. Sure. To bottom. I sacrifice a land. Okay, that was Edge of Autumn getting cycled. You have to sack a land to cycle it. Kind of an unusual cycle cost. Let's consider after a cycle of Street Wraith. Uh, sure. Two. 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 Right. I'm at 19, you're at 18. Yeah. That's his oracle into the graveyard. Unearth. <laughs> no, I mean, I troll. Uh, uh, I'll take six. Uh, yeah. Return. Sure. It's a reanimate for free. Well, without damage. Let's have a keep draw. Okay, as of right now, no creatures, no cards, excuse me, left in the library trying to unearth Thassa's Oracle. Thassa's Oracle's trigger will go on the stack. Game one goes to Audrey. Doomsday takes game one up a game. Yeah, I'm taking it all. We have a minute left on this hype train. Sub gift or use bits to get us to the next level. Adam saying I should have blasted the consider. Wasn't even thinking about unearth. Yeah, the uh, canonist wasn't cast, and then no power blast played there, and um, maybe that was. Not correct. I don't know. All right, so Lion's Eye Diamond, then Grindstone. And that game's kind of over. Game's kind of over after that, yeah. As long as they don't have another days. Yeah. Oh, it's sure. No, they would have days back. Right. Wait, days. They would have days, days back. Days, 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 days. days? So the, 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 the back the right play fun. used to be turn two, true name nemesis. Okay, it seems like Audrey's saying he, he wasn't sure that this deck was Painter after game one. Mars casualties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if that's what he said, but. All right, here's Tamio Inquisitive Scholar that resolves. This is more of like a f f 
slow, fair. I mean, it seems silly after how game one played out, but a slower, fairer version of Doomsday. One plus zero. One plus zero. Yeah. Okay. So this is. So it's. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's Urza's Saga. That's all. Uh, that's good. Go ahead. Uh, and then I will pass the No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another grindstone. Grindstone could get interesting with against Doomsday because you're milling them. Fair. Yes. Fine. And uh, with a Lion's Eye Diamond on the board, you could potentially see a grindstone activation. If uh, Audrey isn't careful. All right, making a clue with Tamio. Um, Audrey's saying that the d deck list may get posted in the Discord. High Train Conductor Scott asking about that. Three cards. Win for three again. Looks like Dark Ritual and Doomsday are in hand. I think I see them. Okay, on the ground, e <coughs> pass the turn. There's a saga we'll tick up here. I see a red elemental blast in Adam's hand that could come up. That's rough. Um, it's fine. I missed it. I missed it. Uh, that's good. Cool. I will say that I Cracking a clue on NSEP here. That was City of Traitors. Yeah, I think you might have gotten Yeah. I was talking about the game about this. Game this deck. I thought it was, I mean, this, it just feels more powerful than your caution. Regular blue black for like sixes. No. Oh. You just kind of gave me a on top. Okay. No, that's good. Okay, making a clue. No point in making a construct there. A little bit of a rewind. Okay. Uh, no. I will. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Six. Two. Two here. Uh, uh, one. Frog. Yeah. Uh, Cavern of Souls naming frog. Oh, frog. Uh, okay. Psychic frog has been cast. Adam potentially has removal for it. Gonna make a construct. It will be a four-four. It'll be interesting to see what Urza Saga looks for on the following turn. Are we gonna try and blow up this frog now? Maybe not. So random, not wander. Oh yeah. Take a turn. I can do this. You do, you do your thing. Um. Uh, <laughs> Oh, not sure what that die is indicating. Urza Saga will float a mana. Targeting. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, just construct power and toughness, fair enough. It's about to change. Adam looking through the deck now for stuff to do with Saga. Soul Guy Lantern looks like is found. Something. Yeah. Draws good? Yeah. 
Five five constructs, one mana floating. What are we doing here? Painter servant, still one mana floating. Uh oh. It's on the stack. On the stack, painter, dark ritual. Is it is it power? Sack a clue, one black floating. There's some blue. There's so many blue. Naming blue. And activate one of the grindstones. I was, I was in the tango which one I was like. Okay, grindstone painter combo ends game two. Adam gets it. Moving on to game three. So both players have had their chance to combo so far in this match. That's his Oracle for Audrey. Painter Grindstone for Adam. Looks like multiple copies of Versus Saga, some Simian Spirit Guides, Grindstone and Painter in Adam's hand. That seems scary. Three. Audrey says, what's worse, Chris? Talk with your opponent about how you sideboarded or all the piles you could have made that win the game. You know what? I don't do the small talk between or after games of Magic the Gathering. I just tend to like get up and walk away. All right, here's Tamio on turn one. People ask me sometimes, "What was your? What did you sideboard?" <laughs> Not right now. I just get up and leave. There's just a, there's just no time for that. <laughs> Gotta prepare for the next round. Oh, I wore that card out. Never mind. All right, here's a mountain. Grindstone. Okay. Roland absolutely right. Roland in the chat says, talk to the hand, the face don't understand. Roland coming in hot in the chat. Roland also with a moderator badge. Keep an eye on these people, Roland. If anybody says anything a little bit too iffy, just get them out of here. Audrey says, oh, God, I remember how this match went. Okay, don't say any, don't say any more. Doomsday, resolving. So Doomsday, resolving. Grindstone is on the table. Um, hmm. This could get interesting, actually. As I mentioned in, the, I think it was game two, Grindstone after a Doomsday has resolved makes a tricky situation. If they activate Grindstone, they can mill you at a time that you don't want to be milled, let's say. Um, tricky. You gotta clench a little bit when you Grindstone. Uh, uh, yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like people are laughing in the background. Did you hear that? Who was that? Was that Jess Guy John? <laughs> you were crazy. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Sounds like Jess Guy John is cackling in the background. <laughs> What's so funny, Jess Guy John? You're making my life better if you want So trying to build a pile here, knowing that Grindstone is on the battlefield, quite tricky. Um, you also have to think about cards, as Audrey said in the chat, like Pyroblast or Red Blast. Um, or whatever other disruption could be available. Yeah, th this is a serious Magic tournament, so I'm not really sure why people are laughing. No one has to go to two. Can I get four? Three? Three. This, I'll give you. I'll give you that. Uh, yep. Go. Uh, 
Yeah, Roland finding the cackle very distracting. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, what do you think of the odds of this chat? We show up to a Magic tournament and Roland's on Doomsday. Will that ever happen? Like, is that possible? Or is that never going to happen ever? What are people's feelings on that? Like, what if Roland just plays Doomsday? With the block of the stack? That would be crazy. <laughs> Okay, the pile has uh, finished. Got a little bit of a look at it here. Consider Cavern of Souls, Edge of Autumn is in there, and we couldn't see the top, but that's okay. Get the idea. <laughs> Roland feeling called out about about uh, deck range. It's okay, Roland. It's okay. This is a long time ago now, but I've played a match against Roland Chang, and Roland resolved illusionary mask against me. So th th that's um, something to uh, think about. If you're ever worried about Roland's range, just think about Illusionary Mask in Legacy. But this, I think, was in the before times, before Universes Beyond, back when... I get emotional thinking about it, but back when magic was good. Not great. <laughs> now we hate it. All right, Adam taking a moment here to look through the deck, trying to figure out what's in the pile. All makes sense. These uh, doomsdays take a little bit of time to resolve, and then the opponent taking a look through the deck takes a moment to resolve. All right, here's Ponder resolving. Going to take a look at the top of the three cards of the five-card deck, put one of them in hand, and I think a gesture to pass the turn now, so... Adam will get another turn. Four cards left in the library. This is uh, this is going to be interesting. Playing City of Traders. Okay. <laughs> Painter and then activate grindstone. <laughs> Is there any way? That is the match. Adam with an epic ending of Grindstone Painter combo using two Simeon Spirit Guides. Robbery, Hype Train Conductor Scott says. Robbery. GG's. That was excellent. Wow.